Hey y'all, and welcome to episode 107 of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. My name is Kay, and this is my YouTube where I share all about my knitting, crocheting, crafting adventures. Today is July 1st. It is Wednesday, and I've got a lot of socks to share with you guys today. So many socks. I've got two finished objects and two half finished objects. I was very, very busy on our trip, knitting lots of socks. I really didn't get that much knitting done when we were there in West Virginia, but I got a lot of knitting done on our travel days and some knitting here and there while we were in West Virginia on downtime, you know, in the mornings when we would first wake up and I would be um, sitting on the porch having coffee with everyone. There's a lot to share today. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as The Crazy Sock Lady, and there is a group for this podcast on Ravelry. If you look right down below this video here in the down bar on YouTube, you're going to find links to everywhere that you can find me, links to the Ravelry group, as well as knit alongs that we talk about, shops that I talk about, project pages for things that I show you. All of that's going to be right down there below for you. There are still three knit alongs going on in the Ravelry group. We have the Rainbow Connection Sock Cow, which is these socks right here. One of my patterns that is perfect for self-striping yarn or mini skeins. It's a lot of fun to do. I actually, one of my half finished objects is a pair that I've been working on with this pattern. So the knit along for that ends July 31st. So you still have all of this month, plenty of time to get a pair of socks done for this cowl. And then we have the Stash Busters cowl. That one is our year long knit along for 2020. This is basically use your stash. I will have a video linked down below that talks more about the details, ways you can earn extra entries and all of the fun stuff with that knit along. Can you guys hear Austin getting ice? <laughs> He just came in from outside. He's been playing basketball out front, so he's probably pretty warm because it's hot here in Arizona. The last knit along is our summer sock camp. And this one, the knit along portion of it ends at the end of August, August 31st. The camp portion where I'm doing Instagram lives and all that fun stuff ends at the end of July, but you still have till the end of August to get your finished socks, your socks finished and entered into the Ravelry group. So there has been a new tutorial come out since the last episode for Summer Slot Camp. I've been trying to do about one a week that may kind of space out a bit more here within the last month, but there is one this week. This is how to fix a dropped stitch, both a knit and a purl stitch. I will put a link for the new tutorial down below. This is one that was highly requested, especially by some new sock knitters who were worried, you know, when they dropped a stitch that they would have to rip out their entire sock. So I hope that this will be helpful in how you can, you know, pull that stitch up and fix that dropped stitch. I think that's it for Ravelry Group. If you want to donate a prize for any of the knit alongs that I've talked about, please just get in touch with me. I have my email addresses listed down below. I did receive, let me go ahead and we'll do this before we jump into finished objects, I received a couple of prizes for the um, Summer Sock Camp. The first one, get it all out here. This first one is from Sophia Violet Designs and she sent along three different things. This one, she told me to decide which one I want for myself. So this is the one I'm going to keep for myself. This gorgeous wall hanging that she has knitted. I love that she has her label right there. And then the prizes for the knit along, she sent along two absolutely beautiful sets of stitch markers progress keepers. Look at how pretty those are. I have never seen anything like those for progress keepers. I think those are gorgeous. And then the other set that she sent
These are so unique and so gorgeous. So Gina is who is behind this company. So thank you so much, Gina, for your donation for the knit along. And then I received from Narwhal's Creations a huge stack of project bags for Summer Sock Camp. So they got super creative and created a little patch to go on these project bags. And all of them, with the exception of one, are like camping or like woodsy themes. So we've got that one. And they all have the patch on them as well. There's this one, those were all drawstrings. This one is drawstring as well. And then two zippered ones. So thank you guys so much for all of these gorgeous bags donated to the knit along. So many prizes right here. This is so much fun. And then I have one more thing. I did not receive this in the mail and this is not a prize for a knit along, but I wanna go ahead and do a giveaway on this episode. I think it would be super fun. So while I was in West Virginia, I got to meet up with my friend Jenny. We have been friends since seventh grade and it was great to get to sit and knit with her. She is Mountain State Stitches. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about her and her project bags. So she is Mountain State Stitches over on Instagram and Etsy. I will link her shop down below. And all of the shops that I talk about will be linked down below as well. But I had ordered a bag from her most recent shop update. And instead of mailing that, she just gave it to me when she saw me. So this is the bag that I ordered. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? I love that she added that on there. So I really like her big project bags. They have three pockets on the inside. They have a handle, a drawstring. They're perfect. I have my crochet corner to corner, or not corner to corner, crochet granny stripe blanket in one of her bags. I just love the size of them. She does such a good job. So this is the one that I ordered. And then she surprised me and gave me two more and said to do with them what I wanted. So I'm actually gonna keep this one mostly because in my suitcase, my pin that was in one of my project bags had a uh-oh and got on the fabric. So this one I'm going to keep for myself because I got purple pin on it. But this one that I'm gonna do a giveaway for this fabric is stunning. Look at that. Those cute little bees and beehives and I love the floral. It's the same as the one I just showed you on the inside. It has three pockets and I love this honeycomb fabric. A handle, drawstring. So for this one, just comment down below this video. I did not think of a prompt. Um, I don't know, just comment down below the video, anything, <laughs> anything you wish. And I will draw a winner before the next episode and announce the winner then. So make sure you head over and you check out Jenny's shop, Mountain State Stitches. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. She has a ton, I don't, well, I shouldn't say she has a ton in there right now. I think she still has some left from her last shop update. So head over and check it out. All right, now for finished I have two finished pairs of socks. I'll show you this one first because you've seen this before. So these are the socks that I did a couple tutorials with. I did a tutorial for how to change collars for your um, cuff, heel, and toe. And then I also did the drop stitch tutorial with this sock as well. So I already had the first one done before we left on our trip. This is Legacy Fiber Arts in the Kirk sock set, which I believe I saw on their Instagram, they have some of these in their shop or they did, I think it was as of yesterday or the day before. So I'll link them down below. 
It's a very, very pretty colorway. I cast on 64 stitches, US 1, 2.25 millimeter needle. I only did 10 rounds for the cuff on this one. Slip stitch heel flap and then rounded toe. And the instructions for the slip stitch heel flap and rounded toe, those can be found in my patterns on Ravelry and Etsy. What else about this? Oh, so I had finished the first sock before we left for our trip so that I could do the tutorials. And then I had the cuff done on the second sock. And then while we were on our trip, I completed the second sock before we even left to come back home. So that was nice to get another pair done. And then I also finished my June Desert Vista Dye Work socks while we were there. So I did these, this is Desert Vista Dye Works in the Sonoran Sunset colorway. This was her exclusive 2019 colorway for the knit along. If you completed all 12 months, um, you got this skein of yarn. Same thing as those. I did US 1 2.25 millimeter needles, 64 stitches. I did 20 rounds for the cuff, slip stitch heel flap, rounded toe. I did these two at a time. So before we left, I had the cuffs done for both socks. And then on our travel day, on our way to West Virginia, I knit all the way down the leg, the heel, the foot, and was ready to start the toe. So I knit this entire pair of socks in one day, other than the toe. I had two toes to complete once we were there. But other than that, it was done, completely done. So that was exciting. <laughs> I knit so much. I will admit my fingers were a tiny bit achy by the time we got to Eric's mom's that evening because I had just done so much knitting on those socks that day. Then I have two works in progress. I have worked on my beekeeper cardigan a little bit. I'm not gonna show it today because there's not a huge amount of progress. I only did three rows on it on our trip. On the airplane, I just couldn't get comfortable enough to get all of it out and have everything out in front of me um, as far as the pattern and counting my rows and all of that. And then when we were there, I just didn't have enough downtime to do more than a vanilla sock. So three rows is all that I knit on that sweater the entire time that we were gone. But I did start another pair of socks. I have this started, I should say, before we left. And then this was my knitting for the travel day home. I had the cuff done and then I knit the rest of this sock and Kitchener the toe on our way, our travel day home. So this is a dragon horde yarn in the tarot colorway. Same exact thing as those US 1 2.25 millimeter, 64 stitches, same heel and toe. If you are a returning viewer, you know not much changes. I don't vary much with all of that. That's just my favorite and perfect fit. And all of these are for me, selfish knitting for the win. Um, what else about these? I started this second sock and I have this project in my bag from Uprooted Fibers. This is the one with the measuring tape ribbon that snaps off so you can measure your knitting. And the second sock I started in the car. Yes, I kitchenered the toe on this right before we landed. And then when we got in the car, I started the second sock. I don't even have the cuff done yet. That was my knitting for the car ride home from the airport. And I'm doing these ones magic loop on Chow Goo red lace needles. The other half finished object that I have are my Rainbow Connection Shorty Socks. I started these a while back. They had not had much progress. I was through the heel and then I just kind of stalled on them and was just so busy with other things that they kind of took a back burner. So I picked them up Monday and I finished this sock on Tuesday. 
For this, I'm using leftovers. I'm doing a shorty pair, the Rainbow Connection. The pattern's written for longer, but you can of course always adjust that with any pattern. So I did 10 rounds for the cuff. And then I only did, I started the heel flap on the third round of the leg. So I only did two complete rounds. And then on the third round, I started the heel flap. This one I'm using leftovers. I have, this is pineapple yarn in the brown sugared fig colorway and Hue Loco in the Serenade Me colorway. So I have just a little bit of leftovers here from other socks. And that's what I've used for this. So it's not super contrasty, but I still love the look of this pattern. It works with just any yarn you use it with. And the second sock, so for this one, my color A was the purple, the Serenade Me by Hue Loco. And then for the second sock, I've swapped it. So my color A is the pineapple yarn, brown sugared fig. And that's how far I am on it. So I'm doing this again on Chalgu Magic Loop, the Chalgu Red Lace. I did the first sock on nine inch circulars, but when I started the second sock, I just wasn't feeling the nine inch circulars. So I just cast them with Magic Loop, not a big deal. And that's why I love doing so many different methods because it helps, I really, 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 I know I've said this so many times, but I think that helps my sock mojo never die out. I've had questions about how do you knit so many socks? Do you not get tired of them or get bored with them? How do you keep motivated to knit them? I just love knitting them and I switch back and forth to the different methods. Um, there's, I only do three. I've never really tried any other ways, but the Magic Loop 9 inch and DPNs, I just switch back and forth and it just keeps me motivated because if I only knit my socks on 9 inch and I was just like, oh, I don't want to knit that sock on a 9 inch right now, the second sock would not have been started for this and there would have come in second sock syndrome and, you know, just not staying motivated to knit them. But the fact that I just bounce around to all the different methods and don't really have a favorite, it just keeps it all so fresh and I don't get bored that way, I think. I don't know. I, I think that's the trick for me is I do so many me different methods, I can just hop around. This sock I have in a bag from Stitch and Sisters 2.0. Very pretty floral, perfect for summer project bag. And that is it for all of the knitting. Like I said, I have my beekeeper cardigan, but I haven't done a ton on it. I've been back to 30 minutes a day since we've been home. So there has been a little bit more pro progress, but not really enough to show yet. So once I get a little bit more done on it, I'll bring it back on here and show you guys. But that's pretty much it for the knitting today. Just a tiny bit of chatter about our trip we had a wonderful trip. It was so great to see family and friends. Some of our family had not seen Eric or the boys for about four years. So it was really nice. They enjoyed getting to see them and they couldn't believe how much the boys had grown, especially Austin. He definitely towers over everybody in our family. <laughs> um, so it was a lot of fun to get to see everyone. I did record, I talked about a vlog I didn't do like a full on vlog where I talked to the camera, but I did record some video here and there of our trip. And I will eventually put that together into a vlog for here on YouTube. I'm just not in a huge rush to do it just yet. I always feel a tad bit emotional after our trips. So I don't think emotionally I'm ready to watch all of it yet. <laughs> I'm going to wait a little while and then I'll put it together. It'll just kind of be a little happy surprise, a later vlog um, of our trip to West Virginia. But I think that wraps it up for today. I still like feel like I'm still playing catch up from being on a trip, like as far as the house and work. So pretty busy week this week, So, but I still wanted to pop in and record an episode for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you were all doing well since the last time that we chatted and I will see you guys again soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.